Well, that's an improvement, isn't it, guys? Wednesday morning, and we're just about to do our Wednesday workout. I'm actually gonna join Lydia today, and um, we're gonna be doing, I think, a YouTube tutorial workout. Is that right, Lids? Yeah. So, oh, feeling stiff. I feel like that did the job though, look at me. I'm dripping. Hey. Two more workouts for you. Two of those again? One of those. You're not even sweating. I am. I just don't sweat like you. I'm actually dripping. Right, so we've just finished off this morning's workout, as you can see. I'm dripping wet, but that was good. That was a good workout, babe. Well selected. We ended up doing two videos, so we did the, what was the first one? Sarah's so day, 15 minute fat burner workout. Yeah, and then we did a... Boho Beautiful. 10 minute leg toning Pilates thingy. Nice, so yeah, it felt good. Um, I've not really been having the best of times with exercise these last past couple of weeks. Uh, I've not had any motivation, I've not been in the mood. When I train, I don't really feel like it. But when you do finish, it does feel very good. So I'm gonna get showered now, because today we're gonna be doing a little bit of DIY at the house, um, back on the tools, and then this evening, we're heading into London for an exciting event with Hugo Boss. So yeah, let's get busy. Right, so I've just freshened up, jumped in the car, and uh, we're gonna be heading now to Tool Station uh, to pick up some materials, because I've decided to take on the challenge of doing some electrical work in the kitchen, because basically, getting trades in that are actually any good is very tricky. Um, they're super busy guys, and especially with the lead up to Christmas now, everybody's just going, yeah, see you in January, mate. And um, Lids and I are very impatient people, so I've decided that I'm gonna take on the task of getting the electrics ready in the kitchen so the decorators can come in next Monday, Ken. Yesterday, I took out all of the old downlighters. We had these square double uh, width downlighters with two spots per light, and it was just complete overkill, didn't need it, and the lights also were tilt. And when the speakers in our ceilings were played quite loud, the lights used to rattle and it would sound kind of like the speaker would blow. So we thought we'd kill two birds, one stone. So we've reduced the amount of lights, reduced the energy by putting in some low, low energy LEDs in. And we've also decreased the number of lights by half. So I've put singular spots in. I've now got to do some remedial work where I patch in the holes that were there existing um, and just sort of tidy it up. And yesterday I started that, but I ran out of filler. So I'm going to go to tool station, pick up some filler. Also, I'm going to pick up some pendants to go uh, onto the three center lights just to make them a little bit more decorative and then hopefully that room's then ready to be decorated uh, come Monday next week so I'm gonna get going now and then head back and do a little bit of DIY but oh my god that workout it was weightless so I didn't do any weights but I've not trained like I said now for a couple of weeks I've just not really been in the mood I don't understand why it's really frustrating me uh, normally very self-motivated when it comes to exercise but I've just been having a little bit of one of those moments where I'm just like I can't be asked and when I train I'm just like I don't feel like 
I want to be doing this. So it was really nice to get in the gym today and also train with lids. I think that's what made the difference, being in there with somebody else that was like, come on, let's do this. So um, yeah, great workout. Already feeling a little bit tender on the legs, which is surprising, but very, very satisfying. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go because we're running out of time. Uh, need to get ready for this evening and uh, get these chores done. Now. Ken. Go on. Listen, I need to order your scaffold ready for Monday. I just want to um, make I want to make sure what day you want it because I'm going to get it from Paragon. Get it. Um, you get it for Tuesday. Tuesday, show Wednesday. And how many days would you like it for? It's about a couple of days, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, save three days to be safe. Okay, I'll book it out then from, what do you want me to do, Wednesday to Friday? Yeah, do, do it, yeah, Wednesday to Friday, because we can start cleaning, we've got to clean down the kitchen and tape up now, because I don't need it straight away. Okay, mate, that sounds like a plan to me. So, Wednesday to yeah. Friday next week, scaffolding will be there. I'm going to yeah. get two and a half tiers with two planks, or do you want an extra plank? No, two planks are fine. Yeah, okay, mate. Sounds good. I uh, filled the holes and um, yeah, I see that. yeah, I've got a little bit more to fill in to do, but I've not finished the filler, so I'll let you do that. Yeah, I can finish that off. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, mate. I'll let you crack on then, and I'll uh, see you see. next week. Yeah, all right. All right, mate. See you later. See you later. Bye. Right, so I've just got back from Tool Station, and very annoyingly, they didn't have the pendants in stock that I was going to put over these three lights just to make it a little bit more decorative but I did get some filler so I'm going to finish off filling the holes you can look on the ceiling here this is where the old lights were and then I've just filled them which they need uh, filling with filler like this and then Ken's going to put the finishing filler layer on so this is just uh, helping with the drying times so when he comes around he doesn't have to wait for this sort of first layer to dry you can just do the finishing layer and get it all smoothed down sanded down but yeah so we've decided to go for less down lighters in this room so we're going to have three two three and um we are also going to be having the three pendants around the center of our lights so they'll just be like big bases that go underneath those fittings here and that will just smarten that up and then of course we're going to be having this whole kitchen redecorated so this is going to be like a darker color these are going to be lighter colors and then we're also having this worktop completely replaced um, we just wanted something that was slightly more uh, veinier a bit more detailed this is quite um, sort of plain you have got these markings on it um, but we just wanted something that was a little bit more statement so yeah we're going to have this taken out as well probably next week actually this will come out and then the kitchen will pretty much be finished i think there's a couple more things that we're going to be changing down the bottom um, and then what i was talking to ken about was getting a scaffold to paint up there because they need to get to the top to paint the uh, ceiling so yeah that'd be good fun for them <laughs> But a good stuff. I'm going to um, quickly fill the remaining few holes in this ceiling uh, before jumping in the shower again and getting suited and booted ready to head down to London for the Hugo Boss event. And there we have it, the uh, finished, well, not finished article, but that's now all filled up, ready for Mr. Kenny Ken to come along next week and decorate. Um, hopefully tomorrow those pendant things arrive and I'll get those installed. Yeah, it looks a little bit messy at the minute, but <laughs> I promise when it's painted, that ceiling will be looking fiery. Right, 
It's looking quite gloomy outside. I'm gonna go shower, get ready for bus. Good evening, so I've just finished off getting ready for this evening's Hugo Boss event and uh, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. Uh, the guys at Hugo Boss have kindly dressed me for tonight, so everything you see is Hugo Boss, head to toe, literally. Yeah, I just kept it quite simple. I went for some smart black shoes, but these are really cool because, um, I don't know if you can see very well, but they're actually like trainery. So this back bit here is like stretchy and the tongue on the shoe as well is also stretchy, which means that these are the most comfortable formal shoes I've ever worn, no lie. Um, so glad that I went for those little babies. I think they're new out. And then I've just got some plain black trousers. And then I want to do something a little bit different with the jacket because I've got a lot of navy and uh, black suits. So I thought we would go a little country-esque. Um, so we've gone for this kind of Czech jacket. Um, love the uh, colors of this, it's really autumnal. And then just a plain white Bosch shirt underneath. So I'm all set, ready to go. Taxi's gonna be here very soon to pick me up, to take me down to London. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the event. It's supposed to be quite an immersive experience, um, sort of tapping into your senses. So it should be a great evening and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along with, so let's go. So we've arrived at the Hugo Boss event for this evening. Lovely mate, thank you very much. The scent had been created in 2015. And I would like to take a pause and think back of this inspiration. Alongside the great classic Boss bottle, Boss the scent has been created to open a complete new story within Hugo Boss fragrances. The story about seduction. It's a story about impeccable style, bold seduction, but also a modern vision of men for boss the scent for him, and a new vision of stylish femininity for boss the scent for her, which was created in 2016, just to say that seduction is a game of equals. Since all those years, boss the scent for him and for her have gained the heart of numerous followers and have been lucky enough to reach the top 10 worldwide. It has been a great and amazing opportunity to tell this story about seduction. But today, as we know, the world is changing. The world is evolving. So this is the female fragrance. Uh, and this is the masculine. I think, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not exclusive to that. Tim T Timothy, this is the women's one. <laughs> this is the men's one. Of course you want this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, I don't really want no girl. Cheers. <laughs> You've gone for it. That's love. It was an um, amazing experience shooting the, um, the commercial. And uh, we, were, we shot it in Baku in Azerbaijan. And just dealing with that idea of like, how we connect with people and uh, the sort of argument for Real life connection against you know, virtual connection. Um, I uh, I have a lot of respect for social media and all that stuff, but I, I'm not on any of it. It's also very important to get back to our senses, to reconnect with each other in reality, because I think that that's what's heightened our senses the most. That was so much better than my <laughs> 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 I'm so happy to be in the real world with you tonight. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hello, so we've just finished off 
an absolutely fantastic evening with Hugo Boss. Yeah, it was really, really great actually. We got to discover the new fragrances for him and for her, uh, which included immersing ourselves in some sensory experiences. So we got to do some virtual reality. There were some cocktails that had uh, been inspired by the fragrances. We also got to meet Jamie Dornan and Bridget Koss, who looked absolutely amazing. It was really great to learn a little bit more and the story behind the fragrances themselves. We're currently now in the car and we've got about an hour and 50 minutes to get back home. So I'm just gonna chill out, probably have a little snooze um, because tomorrow is gonna be quite a long and late day as well. So yeah, I probably need to get my sleep in as much as I can at the minute. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys when I get home. So as you can see, I've just arrived home to find my two girls in bed. When I got in the car, I picked up the camera and um, I let the guys know that we had the exciting opportunity of meeting the face of the brand, Jamie Dornan, and also, I said, Bridget Cos. <laughs> Her name is, I can't say it, <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna save me. It's not, it's Bridget, but it's not, because it's got an I before, so it's like Brigert. I've never heard of it, but, but no, I listened on Google Pronounce and it was like, Brigid. I don't know, but I felt um, very silly. So I felt like I needed to let everyone know that I got it wrong. Her name is not Bridget. How was your evening? It's really good. Really good? Lydia did a meet and greet tonight with By Terry in Selfridges. Selfridges. You're supposed to finish at 7 or 7.30 and I didn't get out until 10. Mm. It's 1 a.m. right now, by the way. Mm. I... I'm going to get ready for bed and then tomorrow is a new day and it's also going to be a new vlog. So thank you for watching this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will link all of the items that I was wearing this evening, all the Hugo Boss stuff. Um, it was so comfortable. The shoes, the jacket, the shirt, very comfortable get up attire. So I'll link that down below because I think it's always good to have stuff that's practical, that looks good, very comfortable. And I'd say that this is sort of hit all of those things certainly these shoes have anyway so yeah they'll be in the description box below and um, i'll see you guys on the next one peace